What's up guys, welcome back. It has been a while. I'm finally settled down in my new home. I am now living in the state of Idaho, which has, uh, there's been a lot going on. So I'm finally back at it, producing parts, selling them. Etsy store is back open. It was shut down for quite a while. Um, and if you do follow what I do, uh, you probably have seen that I was making these auxiliary switch panels for a Nissan Frontier. Uh, they go in the like, lower cubby area. Uh, I had some requests to actually make them for the Oxbeam uh, switch panel. So uh, Oxbeam is a company uh, that makes quite a few different lighting products, but they make this pretty nifty little switch panel. They make it in a eight gang, which is this, and then a six gang switch. Um, and you can switch around the stickers and make it, you know, organize them however you want. Um, it has this really simple connector pretty cool it's like a four pin connector and it goes to like a control unit uh, it's still in the box because I haven't actually hooked any of this up but I do have a functioning panel this is hard to do one-handed but we'll get it either way one thing led to another and I thought it'd be really cool to actually mount the same thing in the overhead trim panel in the frontier so I've actually you can see all these scanning dots these are for uh, registration marks for 3d scanning to build a full model um, this goes like the overhead position, so usually there's that cover uh, that covers all this. And then down here is usually where a sunglass holder goes, and you can see I actually have a test piece um, that didn't finish correctly, but uh, it's my first go at testing, mounting uh, the aux beam switch panel in this location. So it looks pretty good, uh, pretty flush. Obviously I did uh, some pretty thick layer lines, um, so it's not super, super smooth, but the fitment looks really, really good and i got all the clips working for the most part except for the fact that they are fairly fragile so uh, i am printing another one currently and hopefully it finishes correctly and the tabs are a little bit stronger um let's see if i can pull the ox beam out and see what it looks like right there so effectively what it'll look like kind of in the overhead position i think it looked pretty cool i do have some paint and um, some texture spray um once I get this finished up and sanded, I can texture it and then paint it. And it will be a pretty close match to the OEM plastic. So it should look pretty OEM-ish, which I'm definitely going for. But I'll have to finish that up and get it installed and let you guys see it. All right, so a few updates on the project. Um, I was spending a lot of time sanding this. That JB Weld is really hard to get through, uh, but it's pretty smooth. It's looking pretty good, except for some of the inner recess areas need to be sanded still. Um, and then, you know, I was kind of messing around with it and then this tab broke off. So I'm not really happy uh, with the overhang and stuff like that. They're just not very clean. Um, so I went ahead and Went back to the drawing board and printed the exact same piece minus that outer ring for the mountings. Um, so basically, I created this piece, which is all those tabs. I can isolate really, the, uh, you know, get the supports right for these tabs. And then I have these holes that will actually bolt to the bottom of the panel. These will get uh, threaded brass inserts here so I can mount the two together. And, you know, hopefully there's just a lower failure rate. Then I went to go test it in the truck and it basically sits too low. It ends up obstructing the view of the rear view mirror. And then I finally redesigned it again to the same thing. So it still uses those mounting tabs and then, um, but it has a shallower angle basically. You can line them up, see that the new one on the right is a little bit lower. It's about a half inch lower so it just gives you that little bit more clearance for the rear view mirror. But uh, let's go check it out inside the truck and see how it looks. All right, so on the truck, I have the whole sunglass compartment out. Um, on the top of that actually has two tabs that help support and that's actually mounts the front. 
uh, this whole uh, overhead uh, piece up into these holes up in here. So I do have provisions to do the same thing here and actually support that mount it. Um, it's not on this version, but it will be um, included. So here is the general idea. Of course, I don't have all the mounting parts in place, but that is the general idea. So I'll set that flush right there. And if I can leave my hand, it's really hard to get it lined up just right, but it should sit right about there. Give you nice clean access to all the buttons, um, and then barely just uh, barely being visible in the rearview mirror. Of course, if you're a little bit shorter than I am, you'll see even less of it. But uh, overall, it's pretty good. I like how it looks, and the fit is pretty good. I just got to get this one finished up, um, textured, and then painted. So like I was talking about before, uh, the sunglass holder actually has these clips that hold up that whole trim. And I have to basically mimic that, otherwise that front side's gonna be dangling off. So uh, I mimicked uh, those two spots and then created a bracket that can attach to the top of here. So for the most part, I'm just gonna ask, use acetone to uh, basically melt the two plastics together. It's both ABS, so it should bond really, really good and make a one part piece at that point. All right, got the Oxbeam unit installed. All I got to do now is mount this bracket to actually mount it up in that overhead trim panel. Um, and I did these brass inserts as quarter 20 just because I had them on hand, but I actually forgot to go get quarter 20 hardware. So I have uh, these tapered heads. So they're just gonna have to work for the time being. I probably will reprint this. This is a little bit thinner and flimsier than I'd like. So I'm probably gonna thicken this up and maybe I'll just end up using these and do a countersink uh, to kind of flush these kind of screws up. So, um, But I kind of plan on switching out to thinner hardware maybe in the future. Maybe not. Maybe this will be fine. We are going to go ahead and clip this in, make sure it's all lined up. Um, these ridges um, will kind of uh, only fit one way and you kind of have to wiggle it to get it in place. Clip it in, make sure all the clips go in where they're supposed to. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to do it all in one shot just in case it doesn't want to release. I'd like to have my Bluetooth hook back up. All right, I almost forgot these little clips. They should fit on here in this little groove. A little snug. Ooh. Holy cow, that is Pretty good. And that's what it looks like. If you get up really high on the rearview mirror, obviously there's a little obstruction, but that looks really, really good otherwise. really good I'm really happy with the fit function and of course it's not hooked up yet not being utilized I don't have any of these things hooked up uh, light bar will probably be one of the first things I get so it will be used but for now just uh, for looks I guess anyways this can be a wrap for today if you guys have made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching 
please smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go ahead and leave a comment if you have any questions or you wanna know some of my process or some of the tools, materials I'm using in this project. Uh, I'll do my best to include it in the description. But as always, thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. And I'm out. What do we got here?